Hey guys, it's Itix Rolly, and today I'll be doing an honest review from the average consumer's point of view of the SH Figure Arts Mastered Ultra Instinct Son Goku. Here is the figure in the box with all of its glory. I took off the little plastic pieces so you can get a better view of him inside the package. Let's get this open and look at what's inside. Here's the box, which is very damaged because of the way it was shipped. Uh, you can tell this is an official release because of the sticker. And here's the side of the box, back of the box. Really nothing special, just, you know, it is what it is. Usual SH figure art stuff. And the reflection paper inside is metallic because it's how Ultra Instinct is. It, inside it comes with a neat little piece of paper. And uh, gives you instructions on putting on the faces if you haven't done it before. And here are the instructions for the Hamehameha ball. Which is a big pain to figure out. And here inside, it also includes a piece of paper, which I haven't seen before, with print on it that uh, <laughs> advertises their products. So, that's cool. This is what it looks like outside of the box. The battle scars on this figure are so wonderfully sculpted. But they didn't do any shading on it, which sucks, but uh, I guess natural lighting will do that for you. I would like to say that you should probably pre-order or get this figure now, because in the future it will probably be really expensive. Also, when you interchange the heads, if you didn't know, not the whole um, Ultra Instinct head is painted. On the inside, it is actually the skin color, which is uh, a little weird because they should have maybe gone with gray, because if the paint chips, it won't look that obvious. So that's just one thing to note. I actually noticed something. In the um, Awakening Goku, you can see that his muscles are bigger. As you can see here, the hair sculpt is different from the base form. If you look closely, there are actually two different designs. The original has more pointy hair, while the newer one has more flowy hair. As you can see here, there is no piece of hair here, as there was one here. And this piece of hair is going up, while this one's going down. Although there are slight changes, they are still changes, and I appreciate that they did that. One more thing to notice is that the skin tones are slightly different belt is two pieces one the top blue light blue piece and the bottom two pieces are connected to each other the shading is different for uh the belt and this piece right here the belt is the same color as the wrist so i uh, use the instruction manual to put together the hamehameha piece and uh it took all of my intellectual brain power but uh I uh, put it together and uh, it was harder than I thought it would be because um, the pieces are small and it's really confusing and the, the slots fit in really tight so it's supposed to be like that but it's a warning that you know got to be careful with it because this will most definitely break. Here he is in uh, an action pose with the Hamehameha effect. Heads can also be interchangeable, and with the face looking off to the side. Also appreciate the never done before screaming look of this face. It's pretty unique to just the Ultra Instinct character. Goku is proportional to the other Gokus as expected, because they're the same person. Also to note that the boots are different on every single one of the figures. In conclusion, I would say that this figure went above and beyond expectations because of the um, Hamehameha accessory and the new body sculpt. Thanks for watching, it really means a lot, and I hope you learned something.